Our goal was to write a book about 1984, but with today's context. I'm really shocked because I created like a similar plot of the book in a matter of minutes. So today we'll be looking at Agent GPT. So you've been playing around with Auto GPT, no UI. A bunch of you complained that it's not a great UI. It's not as intuitive. So called Agent GPT, where so you can do the same thing, but on a proper UI. Now in order to do this, just go to this link. You need your OpenAI API key. You'll need to put it here. So once you do that, you're all set. In order to get your OpenAI API keys, though, just go to this platform, openai.com account or API keys, copy your API key, and then paste it here in order to use it. Now, how this works is you need to name an agent. So this is the agent and his goal is to, once you do this, you click on deploy agent. Now this will do the exact same thing auto GPT does, but on a more cleaner UI. And you can also save uh, the data post the processing is done. Now note that in auto GPT actually authorize the commands before the agent processes it. But in this case, it will keep running until you actually stop the agent. So you see it's doing a bunch of things, right? If we go through these, we gave it a goal, analyze data to areas of high pollution such as solutions, develop a program to provide education, collaborate with organizations to implement sustainable practice. And now it's started to execute it. It's analyzing the data currently for this. And then also kind of gave fourth task, which is develop a system to monitor and regulate, regulate waste disposal, created a second task for education, added a third task, started executing the fourth task where it wants to monitor the disposable practices. So it's automatically kind of what would help is if I could expand this specific UI. Let's see how what happens when you click on save. Yeah, so it's like a autopilot at this point. So you can see this will keep going, right? Now I'm gonna quickly stop the agent. You can click on deploy agent. So apparently it says it's running, it's going on for a while. The other thing is every time you add a new agent, you'll again have to give your API key. So I'm saying write a book about 1984, but with today's context. So analyze major themes and plot points of 1984, research current political and social issues, generate a plot outline and carry. So okay, now this agent will keep running until it's kind of solved all of these tasks and the sub tasks that it will create based on the uh, primary, based on the execution of these primary tasks. Include themes of resistance, bravery, power of collective actions in the face of a Develop a subplot that focuses on the use of facial recognition technology by government control monitors and corporate examples of social media manipulation used by corporate. Introduce a character who is journalist, include scenes and illustrate. So I don't know about you, but this is really scary. It's like it's created something. So apparently the task is complete and let's save it and see what it has created. Our goal was to write a book about 1984, but with today's context. And here's what has happened, right? So it went through three primary tasks, analyze the major themes, research political scenarios, plot outline and character profiles. Then did a bunch of research, added subtasks. You can see added more subtasks for those subtasks, constantly created these tasks. Um, and if you scroll through the end, it completed the task and this is the 1984 and today's standard. So as an audience for modern day protagonists and antagonists that represent struggles and consequences of like living in a society with little privacy and constant government. Protagonist John John is a tech savvy journalist who has been critical of the government policy policies. The cooperation handle user data has been firm believer in free speech. The work has made him a target to the government and he must navigate society where every move is monitored. Arise an artist who uses her work to express dissent. Protagonist the government. <laughs> the government is the society in all powerful controls that we have. Users as a to monitor citizens every movements. Constantly pushes the narrative of safety and security to justify actions. The corporations in this society have precedented power manipulate people's behavior so interesting and i'm really shocked because it kind of created like a similar plot of the book in a matter of minutes really excited to see where it goes from this point and yeah this yeah this is pretty much it for the video if you guys like it subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one